she could do with her capability. So, it is my great pleasure and my great hope that if I come and I beg and beg and beg, <laughs> please make Margaret fair come and order it for the law. Some of our most loyal companions of the Order of the Companions of the Order of the Laurel, present yourselves before their majesties. Noble lords and ladies, is it your opinion that Marjorie, for their skill in glasswork and bead making, is worthy of elevation into the Order of the Laurel? Aye. Call forth the candidate. The Honorable Lady Marjorie de Fairfield, present yourselves before their majesties. to Marjorie's courtesy? Yes, Your Majesty, I have that distinct pleasure. I'm Count William of Fairhaven, Knight of the Society, Master of the Pelican, and I'd like to talk about Marjorie. <laughs> Marjorie's been my friend for a very long time, and there are many skilled masters and mistresses of the arts who can speak about her prowess. But what I'd like to talk about is her generosity. Her bee rescue, yay beads, videos, posts, making beads available to people. Beads have been around a long time. They are generally far older than most of us realize. And Marjorie makes this amazing art available to anyone who is interested. And she is, her, her sense of fun is infectious. Her enthusiasm for sharing her art is beyond measurable value to our kingdom, to our populace, to the crown. I recommend her most highly, and I'm pleased and proud to speak for her today. Thank you. Thank you. Is there a companion of the pelican who will attest to Marjorie's service? 
I, Your Majesty, I am Master Orn, member of your most order of the Pelican. I will speak of her if I may. I have known Marjorie for almost two decades now, and in that time, I have seen her pick up this craft, that skill, this art, that science, until she found her beadwork. She's jumped into that feet first and hasn't looked back. But I'm not Laurel. I'm not here to speak of those things. In my opinion, uh, teaching is one of those things that is half Laurel, half Pelican. I've known Marjorie to schedule classes. I've known Marjorie to randomly start teaching people. She will teach them about her lamp work. She'll even teach them about these other sciences and crafts and stuff that she learned that she kind of liked but wasn't her thing. But when she does teach those, she will go, to, she will teach and say, okay, this is as far as I can take you with those things. Let's go find who can take you further. And in that, I highly recommend her. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Marjorie, right mindful of your services society and the responses Rear resolves to make you mistress of the world. As the world wreath has ever stood for excellence, so do we give it to you as a symbol of mastery of your art. Therefore, will you, Marjorie, give us your word to continue to fulfill the requirements set forth for the governments of this order, as you most surely have till now? Labors nobly, increase your talents as befit one of your rank, and seek to disseminate your talents and abilities throughout the society. Do you promise to train any dependents? You may have to do likewise. I will. Is there a medallion? Marjorie. <laughs> <laughs> Wear this wreath as an outward token of your excellence. Responsibilities to this right, and the right to wear the wreath 
regalia and badge, a laurel wreath, and confirmed her arms by letters patent, done this third day of February. Our new mistress of the laurel! Wow. Thank <laughs> you.